Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Sunday. It is the 24th of March, 2024. I'm going to look at the 7th race from Aqueduct, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the 7th from Aqueduct, which is DiBaggio's Rose Stakes, going for a purse of $100,000, race for Phillies and Mayors. Um, four-year-olds and upwards with state breads here. We have a field of eight horses going 1,600 meters or a mile on the main track. Top selection, I'm going to go to the outside gate to the eight-horse Stonewall Star. I'm going to go 8-5-7-1 in the Superfecta. 8-5-7-1 Super. Top selection, eight-horse Stonewall Star. This um, four-year-old filly by Flatter here. Horatio de Paz trains Isaac Castillo. Gets to mount. The horse's most recent ad came 19th of February. And Aqueduct, six, uh, seven furlongs and off six to Claimer against Open Company, even a six by ten quarter lengths that day, and just sat on a dueling front end, flying on the front end, just couldn't quicken up late. It wasn't the day to win. He's gotten to speed duels is a little bit, uh, and trouble trips his last few starts. If he gets an easier trip from the outside today, he has hidden class take a win here. I'm going to give him a shot to win. Two-year-old form wasn't bad into the early three-year-old campaign. Then off the bench, this horse just kind of lost it, but I think she could get back to that winning waves. Two backing up, 6-2 is going 6 on the 11th of January. He finished 6 by 11 and a quarter lengths that day. Again, didn't get out of the gate so clearly, and just was lackadaisical. Lost also chances at that beginning. And then off to 32, uh, six, uh, 62 at Aqueduct, 6 fronts, 24th of November. He finished 3rd by 3 and 3 quarter lengths. Showed potential that day. Didn't get out of the gate again so clearly, but he was with them early on. Just kind of weak and late, which you kind of expect first off the bench. But he ran her hard out that day. And then the Beaumont at uh, Keelan over the about 7th from 16th of April. He finished third by six and a half lengths that day. Again, got bumped out of the gate. Just couldn't quicken up. But she ran her hard out, stepping up in class. And then the wide country last February at Laurel over the seven. Winning by 11 lengths that day on the front and all throughout. She took off clear. Won the Franklin Square last winter over this track quite nicely. And uh, Burke Main here in September 2022 quite nicely also. Training well the train track at Belmont. If she could show races like she did earlier on in her career, she could do wonders here. At 12 to 1, I'm going to use her. She's a one against Sky Horse. Her workout patterns as recently haven't been half bad either. I think she's coming to this race a lot better than the last few. I think the five horse here, Lady Mine for Jeremiah Engelhart and Dylan Davis is your second likeliest winner. Most recently in State uh, State Bread Officer 45 with the 6th and 29th of February, she won by three and a half lengths, that thing. Closing down, closing up for nowhere late. I thought she put on a show, really walked in her line. Prior to that, in Option 45, State Bread's over the 7th and 19th of January. Where he finished second by nine by a neck that day, and again just missed. She closed up from nowhere, from not the best beginnings. Not a bad race there. And then from a wide trip on uh, State Bird Lounge race on the mud, going six on uh, Christmas Eve Eve. She um she she went by three to quarter lengths, and I thought that, again the ver that was a very nice run. If the track has some moisture. She does wonders with it. Training well since the last race. I'll give her a shot going back to a mile trip or coming to the mile trip for the first time, shall I say? But to recount my section for the seven from Aqueduct, now it's DiBaggio's row. He's going to take the eight horse Stonewall Star. Give kudos to the five horse Lady Mine. Eight five seven one Super. Eight five in the multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck every 